I just completed some capacitor replacements on my Lisa, so now it's time for the smoke test. I've got the CPU board here. I just took out my uh, the AST RAM stack board I have. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull out the CPU board too. It can turn on without that. That way if something goes ultra catastrophic I don't nuke every part of the system that I've got. Take out the parallel card too. That had a Now we've got one memory board. Actually, I'm going to take that out too. So this is one nice thing about the, the Lisa card cage is it comes apart pretty easily. Okay, so now we've got just the I.O. card. That should be enough to uh, Get this to power on. I'm just going to take the back panel and set it on there to close the interlock switch. So what I've got is a uh, power regulator with a with a six amp circuit breaker. That's just going into this conventional. Um, power strip so I can control things easily. Alright, let's turn make sure I've got this off. I'm going to turn the power conditioner on. Which is on. This is off. Okay, so when I turn this on, the power supply should come on for the 5 volt standby, and then I should be able to click the power button, and the machine should turn on, but not uh, do anything. No smoke. Maybe I had the cards wrong. Well, let's back off. Go ahead and put some. I do have this jumped up, don't I? Oh no, that's why I don't have the. Uh, <laughs> There's an interlock on the front as well, and I had. Well, that proves the 5 volt supply works anyway. So, um, power came on. I heard the uh, the floppy drive go back to its home. The CRT heater is on. And I can hear the small fan I put in the power supply running. So, turn that back off. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Go ahead and pull the card cage back out. So, on the card cage itself, each slot where devices go is labeled and color-coded. 
So it's uh, it's pretty easy to put back together. This is one of the original um, Apple uh, mem memory boards. This is 512K. We'll put that in the first memory slot. Harrison, this is the AST RAM stack card that I have, and this has uh, one meg of RAM on it. So that gives the Lisa a total of one and a half megs. That's the one downside to all these card edge connectors is you know, the big ones like this on the CPU board. Here's the 68,000. It can require a lot of force to insert. This is a, uh, they call it the two port card. This is the parallel interface card edge connector there on the back. And the way the Lisa slots work for that is you've got these ZIF connectors. You pull this little lever out, give it a twist, and it spreads the pins. Then you just take your adapter card. Helps if you put it the right way around. Slide it in till it stops. And then turn the lever. And put the release away. And that's it. Uh, you could do that with the uh, card cage installed in the system. Just taking the back cover off. And for the uh, slot covers for where the card cage goes, they give you a storage on the inside in case you ever remove the card. So when the video comes up on this, I expect it to look pretty bad. I've uh, I changed all the uh, potentiometers on the video board, so they're you know it's going to be in all different positions. Okay, so now we're going to power the system up, uh, populate it. Heard the high voltage. I unplugged the data cable on the hard drive so it's not going to boot. Hey, how about that? No keyboard.
Cool. I'd say that passes the smoke test. Now I just need to uh, dial in the adjustments and I can go from there. Thanks for watching.